Hey and welcome to this new video here on our YouTube channel. And as you might know, we will continue our scripting series today in English. And this will be the start of our completely new 5M scripting playlist, um, where we will also develop small scripts for your 5M server. And uh, yeah, obviously we will also continue our scripting series for the German community or for the German speaking community. Um, but it was requested a lot of times in the, under the past videos we did. And uh, yeah, so I want to offer all these, all these videos also for our English speaking community. And uh, we want to start today with a script, um, which was pretty yeah, successful in the German version. And that's a kind of phone tag script. Um, so what we want to do is when we have a certain item, like a phone item, then there will be a, a completely automated um, insurance bill, um, which be which will be issued at yeah at a certain time frame, which can be configured. So um, what you see at the bottom left is that we paid fifty uh, fifty dollars for our phone insurance now, for example, and how it's possible to develop this and to set up when this happens and so on. Um, that this will be the. Yeah, the theme of or the topic of the Q and video. Enjoy. And to start right off, I did create a folder into my resources and I did call it a phone insurance, for example, but you could call it obviously whatever you want. And now when I double click on it, I also created three files in it and we will, these are obviously empty um, except the FX manifest because usually it's always the same what we put into here. Sometimes we have a common fix, sometimes not, but I will put this for you into the video description or you can simply, um, yeah, pause the, the video real quick and uh, yeah, then copy this because yeah, there's nothing special about this part right now. And we want to directly start with our development on this server side. First of all, what we want to do, we have to fetch the items from a player and then we want to remove money as well. So we have to import a kind of framework. For this video, we want to work with ESX. So what we need are the ESX exports. So we write ESX equals exports and then brackets um, ESX extended get shared object. This is the newer way of uh, initializing ESX. Um, yeah and this is state of the art right now and we need this obviously for the items and money and what we do in the second part is that we have to create a thread first of all um, a thread is being created by writing citizen dot create thread then we open the brackets and insert function and then we leave this uh, close bracket there and write end um, at the bottom here and now we will add a while true loop. Um, a while true loop is pretty simple. We always have while true do and then an end. And what this does do is it will always repeating itself. So it's kind of an endless loop. And an endless loop is always a bit uh, problematic when there is no weight in it. Because when we don't add a weight, for example, 1000 here, um, then our server will directly crash because it's too fast for it. So uh, please, yeah, please uh, be aware that when you add a while loop to your scripts, always add a wait, otherwise your server will crash. Um, and the wait here is always in uh, milliseconds. So it's like uh, this 1000 will e is equal to one second and 10,000, for example, will be equal to 10 seconds. We will come back to this um, yeah, when talking about uh, how often the phone tax is being paid. And what we now will do is we will iterate through all players which are currently online and uh, check whether they have a phone. So first of all, we do use another, yeah, uh, another loop and we write for K, player K, um, and then player ID in pairs. And then what we have here is our table. Um, so there we have to add all the players which are on the server. And it's pretty easy for a native from 5M. We can simply write get players and then two brackets here and then we say do okay for k player id in pairs and get players do and what the script now does is it iterates through all the players which are currently on our server 
So every player, for every player which is on the server, um, this loop will be performed, and this every second. Okay, and then uh, we will get our player data from the queue in player with uh, local ex player is equals to esx dot get player warm id, and now we can use our value player id here. This will be the source, um, which is one when you join first on the server and 100 when you're the 100th on the, the server. This is not a license idea, something like this is, is called the player source, what we use here. And then we can now request with our X player data. This is um, all the data which has ESX about the player. So it's the money, it's the items, it's the job. Um, yeah, it's the salary, it's everything is saved into this X player data. And so we can now request whether the player has a certain item. And this is done by writing if X player dot get inventory item. And then in brackets, we have to write phone. Um, and then we can say um, dot count or no, no, stop. We don't write uh, dot count will be will be the next part. But first of all, uh, we say is not equals. This is always is not equals. Um, and we say nil then. OK, why is this important? Usually it shouldn't happen that this value here is nil. But when you forget to add the phone item uh, to your database, for example, then this can be the case. And so we can simply avoid errors which could occur. And then when the get inventory item phone is not nil, then we can select how many phones the player has in its inventory. Um, and this is done by local phone count is equals to xplayer.get inventory item. And then we say again, phone. And now we add a point count. This phone count variable here um, is now equals to the amount of phones the player does have. And actually in this, or for, for the use case of this uh, script, what we want to develop, um, it's not important whether the player has one or 10 phones actually. So we can simply request if phone count is bigger than zero, then and else. So if it's bigger than zero, then the player has a phone and the player have to pay tax, have to pay tax. Obviously, you are also able to add further checks here. So you could you could say, for example, OK, if the player doesn't have money to pay the bill, then it shouldn't be um, removed from its account or something like this. But this is completely up to you if you um, yeah, if you if you like this idea, or if you don't need this, um, yeah, and else could be something like okay, yeah, you don't have a phone, you obviously don't don't pay anything, and if we won't, don't want to add something here, we can also leave this out. Okay, and then what I now want to do is to def uh, to yeah to give uh, to set up the price for the bill, and this. Uh, I will do this by writing local price is equals to 50, for example. This will make it easier for you to change it um, afterwards. And now what we do is we write x player dot remove remove account money. And now we write bank and price. What do we do here? Um, yeah, we remove money from uh, account from the player's um, yeah, wallet and we take the bank. What's also possible would be cash or black money or something like this. But I guess the uh, guest bank money will be uh, the best option at this point. And how much should be removed? Um, $50 at this point. And now um, this would already work and we would remove money, but we want to uh, send a message as well. And to send a message, um, we have to create a certain event to show a, a different message. And this is why we will switch over to the client side now and create an event to send a picture notification as you saw it in the, at the beginning of the video.
And our first step on the client side will be that we import ESX again. So it's the exactly same event as we uh, wrote on the server side. We also paste this on the client side. And then um, we have a certain function for the picture notifications. And obviously I could write this with you now in this video, but this is just a waste of time. I will put it into the video description, exactly this function. So you can simply copy and paste it. Um, yeah, I guess this is the easiest way. And usually this is a function I never develop. Uh, I never developed twice. It's something like I always copy and paste. And I guess uh, you could do so as well. Um, but it isn't enough to have this function on the client side. We also have to be able to access this from our server side. And so we will create an event on our client side now. And this is pretty simple by writing register net event. And now we have to give the event a name, something like text and uh, picture message. And what we now do is we have an event and now we have to tell the script what it should do when exactly this event is being used. So something like add event handler and now say text and double point um, picture picture msg message and this just attaches this event to the created event and then we say okay then we want to perform a certain functions with different variables and those variables will be the same as we have here so obviously we have to uh, show a certain icon a message a title and a subtitle so i can copy it from down here and paste it simply here okay and then what we can also do is to perform this function now we can simply copy exactly this right here so when we now trigger this event from the server side um, it shows a picture notification on the client side and how it how easy it is to use this i will show you right now so we will switch back to the server side and now write trigger client event trigger client event because this event isn't on the server side it's on the client side obviously and a client event is always only triggered for one player and the server loop is basically one for all players um, but yeah if you want to uh, we can do another video to explain all these uh, yeah, special uh, special things about server and client files just let me know and then we can do this um, for now we will only copy our event name here so we copy the text uh, double point picture message and then we have to insert all the values we want First of all, when triggering a client event, event, we also have to define for which player we want to do this. So for example, we, so when, when I trigger this, the, the server obviously doesn't know which client should get this message. So now we say xplayer.source and this xplayer.source um, is basically the player um, yeah, with the phone. And then we have to um, yeah, set up all the variables or all the options which were here. So icon, message, title, and subtitle. And for the icon, first of all, I did select a char um, underscore chat underscore call. And where you find this is also pretty easy. I will also link this page to the video description and this is where you can uh, browse through all the possible um, yeah, possible pictures which can be used there. Um, so this is the one I did select, um, but obviously you could select every picture you want um, simply by copying this here and then go back to the script and insert it here. So for example, now you would have the 911 image and now you have the um, yeah, the chat call image, for example. And now we will rem now we will remember we also need a title there, so uh, we add it. Um, it's basically pretty easy. So let's check again. No, we have first first of all the message, then the title, and then the subtitle. So now we write something like, okay, you did pay. Um, now we can use uh, color codes, for example. I will write it in red and then you did pay um yeah we'll explain this shortly um we we want to add no values from here and uh, 
when we want to interrupt a string, for example. So this is called a string, uh, like a text. Um, and then we have also to yeah, interrupt it by using those two points. And then we can use um, a variable, for example, like price. Then we again have two points and we can um, continue our string. You did pay this dollar. Um, um, also, this means that it is in red. And now if I want to make the rest of the text in black, then I can simply add this S here or in yellow would be a, yeah, a Y. Um, yeah, different color codes are available there. So uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want there. You did pay for your phone insurance. Insurance. Um, yeah. What, what can you say? Uh, have, happy day, uh, have a good day, stuff like this. So this will be displayed for the player. You can op obviously write whatever you want here. And now we can select a title and a subtitle. So the title could be something like uh, Bone Company. And the subtitle could be New so the player knows what's going on. Okay, so now this should be completed. Um, what we have left over is the wait here. So now the player would have to pay every second for his phone. Obviously, this is way too much. Um, for testing, I will set this to 10,000. To, uh, 10, um, so we have this every 10 seconds. But obviously, um, for your server, it would be maybe um, useful to have this every 30 minutes or something like this. So you can simply calculate this up. Um, yeah, simply seconds uh, times 1000 is the value. And then you can, for example, add 60,000 for every minute here. Uh, and then you can, for example, say, okay, 30 times 60,000. So this will be every 30 minutes. Um, yeah, but for testing, as I said, every 10 seconds would be great. Okay, so I think we should switch back in game and test this real quick. Now we are back in game and now we can open our F8 client console and write ensure phone insurance here. Um, and now we see that the script is started without any errors and now we can simply, um, yeah, checked it real quick. I do have two phones, so we have to wait. And there it is right at the bottom. You did pay $50 for your phone insurance. Have a good day. That's exactly what we developed in the client or in the, in the server side. And uh, yeah, so we completed the script completely as we wanted it. Um, yeah, don't forget to, to change the time interval for your server. Um, obviously, this is pretty important. Otherwise, I would be happy if you leave a like and a subscription um, to our channel um, if you liked the video. Um, also, we do uh, offer a lot of scripts in our store, in our my scripts, um, in our my script store. Link is obviously in the description. Have a nice day, and uh, yeah, we will see you in the next video.